Driving north on the 110 is like traveling back in time. It's the oldest freeway in the West. And reminds you of a slower, bygone era when cars represented freedom and excitement rather than urban inconvenience. Arriving in Pasadena, a town known more for conservative fogies and the Rose Bowl than anything else, it's easy to forget about the town's historic preeminence in car design. But walking around Old Town's shady streets, Pasadena shares glimpses into her storied visionary automotive past as well as forecasts into the future. During the 1910s and 20s, Mr. Don Lee was Cadillac's sole distributor in California. Being California's exclusive Cadillac dealer and having dealerships throughout the state was quite lucrative, allowing Mr. Lee to purchase a coach builder that had caught his attention, the Earl Automobile Works of Los Angeles. This enabled Mr. Lee to convert Cadillacs into even more opulent cars and sell them to LA's nouveau riche, film celebrities. Spent too much time messing with valves and not enough on your Dow, you've probably made a trip or two to your local florist, but I doubt yours hides such a secret. Take a close look at the mosaic above the door, and if you're a real car guy, you'll instantly recognize it. This is a converted Cadillac dealership built new in 1925. Around then, Cadillac had been shipping over 100 chassis at a time to Don Lee's newly acquired Earl Automobile Works to be designed and bodied under the direction of founder J.W. Earl's extremely talented son, Harley. But the guys running GM weren't foolish, and they soon realized that the best way to improve sales would be to give all their cars, ironically, a custom-bodied appearance. Due to his skill and close working relationship with Cadillac and GM's bigwigs, Harley Earl was hired as the first ever corporate automotive design boss. Back in August 1920, Walter M. Murphy, whose uncle had financed the then-fledgling Lincoln Motor Company, was awarded sole distributorship of Lincolns for the state of California, like Mr. Lee with his Cadillacs across town. Realizing that he would need to build custom coachwork for the expected high-end clientele, Mr. Murphy established Murphy Coach Builders at 55 North Vernon Ave, now 55 North St. John Ave. Right here where the Rusnak Audi dealership is located. Murphy Coach Builders quickly rose to prominence, building fantastical custom-bodied cars for the SoCal elite, stars such as Gary Cooper, Mary Pickford, and Rudolph Valentino. And and for the breeze. Even European royalty were interested in Murphy's beautiful creations, but he also attracted the attention of talented young local designers. Living in nearby Eagle Rock, Frank Hershey was hired by Mr. Murphy because of a family connection, much to the chagrin of Murphy's shop manager. Nonetheless, Hershey proved to be quite skilled and eventually won his manager over to the point that Hershey was put in charge of all design work at Murphy. He didn't stick around for a very long time, however, as his ability was sought by manufacturers and he went to Hudson and shortly thereafter General Motors. However, while Hershey was still at Murphy's, a boy named Struther McMinn, who was fascinated by the wonderful creations taking shape, wandered into the shop and wound up befriending both Murphy and Hershey. In fact, McMinn regularly stopped in to share his sketches, then while still in high school and at Hershey's urging, McMinn enrolled for a summer class at Art Center School in Los Angeles. A couple of years later, upon graduating high school at the age of 17, Mr. McMinn was offered a job at Buick by Harley Earl. The Buick studio at that point was being run by none other than McMinn's old Pasadena mentor, Mr. Frank Hershey. Considered as a group, the influence these men exerted on auto design is monumental. From the dawn of the car business through the end of the coach builders era and the institutionalization of corporate styling, Pasadena was a veritable Silicon Valley of the auto industry. Nowadays, the city no longer boasts a coach builder, but it does possess one noteworthy landmark, Art Center College of Design. Yes, the same school that Struther McMinn attended while still in high school and later taught at following his retirement, finally settled on a picturesque hill in Pasadena. And while the school obviously no longer turns out custom cars and designs to the general public, its influence on the industry is undeniable. Art Center College of Design dictates style. In fact, Art Center alumni contributed to the designs of all of these iconic cars and motorcycles.
And so it continues. At the dawn of the 20th century, this small town in the San Gabriel foothills established itself as a mecca of car design. But what's truly amazing is that now, nearly 100 years later, in this era of tax breaks and easy relocation, Pasadena maintains its status as a global center for automotive style.